closing six stores in San Francisco in January 2022. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jermaine, back with another video. And I just want to thank everyone who has been following me for this amount of time. And I have been, you know, people have said I've been the man on the ground here in San Francisco. And I've made, you know, quite a bit, quite a few predictions about what's going to happen in the city. And I have told you guys over and over there's going to be more closures, there's going to be more stores closing, there's going to be more people leaving, and I just got this message that, guess what, we got six CVS stores in the city that are set to close, and this all hits close to home, because there is an app that I, you know, go and shop on, you know, Uber Eats, I go shop, you know, for people, and I, you know, go to pretty much all of these, these, these CV, CVS locations that are closing, I pretty much go to all of these locations, and and at, at some of these locations, I know some of the people that work there, and this is sort of like hitting close to home. And I just found this out, like, you know, maybe like 20 minutes ago. And earlier today, I, you know, was, you know, I went out and got lunch, and I went to 7-Eleven, and it was closed. And I went to this this other place, and I was like, maybe I can just grab a bottle of water there. It, that was closed, too. And, and then I get this email. So it's almost been like a slap in the face for me today with all these closures. So let's jump right into this. So if you guys live in the city and you want to know which locations are closing, if you live in the Soma neighborhood, I got some bad news for you. So the location at 731 Market Street is closing. Also, the location at uh, 5, no, at 351 California Street, this location is closing. Um, we have another location at um, 581 Market Street. This location is closing. These are all in the financial district here. These are all pretty close to one another. Um, this is just, this is, I, I've predicted this for a while, but it's one thing when you predict something and you're like, yeah, I think this is going to happen. I, I, I can see that this is going to happen. Look, look at the evidence, look at the proof. And then it's another thing when it's like, bam, here it is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's three other closures. We have another closure at 2025 then s i remember going to this location not too long ago it was literally a COVID doctor's office like it was just so many people in there trying to get a COVID shot it was like a zoo um and then we have another location that's closing 500 pine street this location i actually don't go to this one as much but this is one that's more of in the sort of in the financial district it's right before you go up that big pine street hill and we also have another one closing at 400 Sutter Street. I'm going to miss that one because that is one that I really didn't go to that much. I There was this pharmacist there that I knew quite a bit. She was really, really cool, really, really nice and really polite. But I guess this location is closing. So, yeah, whatever, you know. So, guys, this is just the reality of San Francisco, okay? This is just the reality of San Francisco. This is a, a place where it's very difficult to start a business, right? It's very, um, you know, you have shoplifters everywhere. You have, you know, people upset that they don't want the police eating at the restaurant. You have car break-ins. It's just a common occurrence. You have people walking into CVS stores and just walking out with like 600 no, what, up to $950 worth of stuff. And it's not a problem at all. It's just, it's just, it's cool, right? There are plenty of blocks all around Soma, this neighborhood, pretty much very close to where all these locations are, the, pretty close to where all these locations are closing, there is certain places that you can go to in Soma and also in the TL where you can find tons of CVS products. So to see all these CVS stores closing, I mean, it, I mean, it totally, I mean, it, it makes total sense to me. You know, when, when I go to CVS stores, and there's always people shoplifting. I, I've got to the point where I don't even like to go to Target anymore. Because that much shoplifting goes on. I don't even like to go to Target, yo. And it, this is just the, the reality. I'm pretty sure there's a, probably a lot of other people that would rather not go shopping because there's, you know, there's, there's all this, you know, shoplifting. And you just don't even want to see it. You know, you don't want to be around it. It's not that, you know, you, you hate the people. It's just like, I don't want to see it. You know, I just don't want to be around it. And look at what's going on now. We got stores closing left and right, left and right. And then you know how we got this emergency order? I don't. I can't tell no emergency orders going on. I mean, I'm just, I'm just being real. I, I can't tell any emergency orders going on right now. I'm gonna tell y'all the the sad thing about the city right now. It's around Christmas time, and by being around Christmas time, yo, 
there's not a lot of people coming to the city. So there's less an incentive to clean the city up. So if you go right around some of these places in Soma, it's like, it can just be really rough. It could be really rough. You could just see a lot of crazy things in Soma. Like, it's just, I don't know, guys. It's it, it's a crazy place, you know? It's a crazy place. But just looking at these stores, I see why they're closing. I see why these stores are closing. It totally makes sense. But anyway, guys, I don't mean to just sit here and, like, just spread, you know, bad news, you know, and just spread, you know, this just this sort of negative, this sort of negative vibe. But this is reality. This is reality, okay? If you live here, this is reality. This is not, I'm telling you a bad bedtime story. This is what's going on. Like, if you're 60 years old and you need to go to CVS to get your prescriptions, hey, one of the CVSs you go to may not be open. Now, they did not close all the stores. I will just point that out in the video. The location, uh, the, the CV, CVS location at Target, the Target at 4th Street, this one is still going to be open. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just say this. Um, that Target at 4th Street, it may not be around too much longer. Um, I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear, but I, I'm, I'm just saying it might not be around too much longer. Okay. It, it very well could, you know, it very well could close soon. I mean, there, I haven't heard of anything that it's going to close, you know, next month or anything, but I mean, just looking at downtown and looking just how so much stuff is closing downtown. Yeah, it's not looking good. Uh, there's also another CVS. I think it's 601 Mission Street, which is right down the street from that that Target. The Target, that, that Target with the CVS, that one is at 4th and Mission. This other CVS location that's not closing, this one is at 2nd um, and Mission. So the 601 Mission, the, this location is still going to be open. So you can you know still go there. My guess is... They're probably going to close a lot of those downtown locations, and they're probably going to have a lot of security at the two locations that they that they keep open. And maybe they'll just keep those open, right? And maybe, you know, all the Uber Eats people and all the delivery people have to go to that location, and they can just, you know, close the other locations. Because it, it costs a lot of money to have a lot of these, these stores sitting around, and... If you live in the city, it's not rocket science. You go to the you go to CVS and it's dead, right? Versus a couple years ago, it was always people shopping in the city and stuff like that. You know, you have the store dead and then you have more shoplifters. So it's like a double whammy. So guys, this is just what's going on in the city. I mean, I, I don't mean to be the person of to, to bring you the bad news, but this is the news that we have today. And this is the news that unfortunately we have to deal with. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.